Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making sushi. How exciting, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make Philly roll or Philadelphia roll and California roll. I'm starting off by washing some rice. It's about 500 milliliters of rice. And I put it in a pan and added about 600 milliliters water. I put it on medium heat for about nine minutes. And here I am setting the rice temperature to high and I'll leave it for about four more minutes. Here I am preparing uh, the rice vinegar. So I've added 200 grams of rice vinegar, 900 grams of sugar and 20 grams of salt. I whisk them together to blend everything together. And after that, I put it in a container and check it very well. And we will be using for this rice today about 100 grams of this mix and the rest can be kept in the fridge. So here's my rice. It's ready to, uh, to make the sushi. It's very hot. I, I've also left the rice for about 15 minutes on the stove to cool down. So here I'm scooping out all of the rice from the pan. I put it in the, this disposable container. This is the biggest container I have to let it cool down so it's like larger surface. And here I am just fanning the rice with a Tupperware cover. So the lid of a Tupperware. So I'm fanning the rice to cool it down. After that, I will I will um, start to turn the rice over so that I can fan the other side to, to help cool it down even more. So now I'm fanning the other side of the rice and I keep checking the rice if it's like cooled down. And here I'm adding my rice vinegar mix to the rice. I try to spread it on the rice evenly so that all of the rice is evenly coated. And then I'll start mixing it with the rice to make sure uh, all the rice is well coated with this mix. And the rice looks really nice and perfect for the sushi. And then I will put the rice, all of the rice, on one side. And uh, you can get any kitchen towel and damp it with water. And put it on top of the rice to keep it uh, moist. And just leave the rice for and then I'll go to prepare uh, the crab mascarpone which basically sliced crabs I keep on chopping the crab sticks like very finely chopped and then I add some uh, Japanese mayonnaise and some cream cheese and now I am adding some mayonnaise and some cream cheese to the finely chopped crabs and I'll mix them very well until it becomes uh, nice and creamy. This is the texture you're looking for. It's very creamy and delicious. Next, I'll be using some sriracha sauce. And uh, for the preparing the sushi, I'll be using some uh, black uh, roasted black sesame seeds, some masala for 10 to 15 minutes to cool down don't use it right away and I am doing some preparing for the sushi I have here an English cucumber I'm peeling it it's 
so here I'm cutting a cucumber in half then another half another half and I like to cut out the, the, this area with the seeds you can keep it but I like to cut it out and I'm thinly slicing my cucumbers and here's my avocado I'm cutting my avocado I just cut it in half and I will be cutting it later and here's my nori and my rolling mat I like to cover my rolling mat like that I have one that's covered and one that, that's not covered so I take my nori sheet and I cut it in half easy to cut the nori sheet in half, it's not difficult at all. And put it the rough side up, there's a rough side and smooth side, the rough side up. And here I'm wetting my hands with some water so that my hands won't stick to the rice. And I'll start scooping out some rice and spreading them on the nori sheet. It's so easy, once you wet your hand, it becomes so easy to do that. So I try to evenly distribute it on the nori sheet without um, pressing the rice. It should be like nice and fluffy. So here what it looks like. And I start adding some sesame seed, roasted black sesame seed to the rice. This gives it like a better flavor. Is much better and I'm adding some uh, small salmon um, so I don't like to use raw fish in my sushi If you like to use raw fish you can this is where you can add your raw fish and I am adding here uh, some cream cheese and uh, I'm slicing my avocado so I'm adding like about three slices of avocado and this is called uh, Philadelphia roll or uh, Philly, Philly roll but you can use any cream cheese in it doesn't matter so I start to run the sushi the sushi um, the nori so uh, see how, how I'm doing it I'm rolling and pressing and then rolling and pressing and it's it's not difficult at all to do it so yeah I keep on rolling and pressing until it looks uh, good to me and if something come out from the sides you can push it back in and you're good to go and here I am putting some uh, ceram wrap on my sushi uh, this will make it easier to cut the sushi roll mat on top to like enhance the shape of it and you should be using a really sharp knife when cutting the sushi um, and I like to wet my knife uh, often when I'm cutting the sushi here I'm wetting my knife it makes it even easier to cut your sushi cutting it in half then each half in half then each in half you should get eight pieces from one sushi roll and here's here's the other roll that I'm doing this will also be a Philadelphia roll I'm adding my smoked salmon and
then I'll be adding some cucumbers and some cream cheese the last roll I did with avocado this one I'm doing with cream cheese and uh, cucumbers so and I'll start to roll it and this roll I'm making the nori outside the previous one I did the rice outside rolling and pressing so here's how it looks and I'll be adding some salmon, uh, smoked salmon pieces on the top it gives it nice flavor and um, makes it look nice So here again I'm wiping my knife, I'm putting some water and I'm cutting my sushi carefully of course again wetting the knife cutting the sushi so nice and even sushi rolls Here I'm adding, this is um, hot mayo, so this is a mixture of uh, the sriracha sauce and uh, Japanese mayonnaise, you can use uh, regular mayonnaise and here I'm adding some masago on top, it's, uh, it's basically a fish roe but it has a nice taste and it enhances the flavor and it looks really nice on top of the sushi and here I am starting for the, starting to do the California roll I'm using a full nori sheet I will not cut this in half and I'm spreading my rice on top nice and even without pressing the rice so much on the nori now I'm adding my crab mascarpone mix that we did earlier I'm adding it this is by far my favorite sushi roll I'm adding some cucumbers and I'll be adding some avocados three slices and this is considered like a big sushi roll and I start rolling pressing and rolling be adding some fish roll masago on top of the roll and I'm adding the plastic wrap to cut to be able to cut the sushi roll nicely and then cutting with this method uh, cut the roll in a half and then each half into a half until you get uh, eight pieces of sushi rolls. <clears throat> so I'm pressing the sushi roll one more time with the rolling mat. Make sure it stays in place. on top and then turning it over we'll be adding more 
grab my skillful mix cucumber and some avocados you can look you can make your sushi rolls uh, look like you're making different rolls when you're actually not doing different rolls by adding maybe one time you'll add sesame se uh, sesame seeds the other time you'll add some uh, mascarpone for sure you add some uh, uh, mayonnaise like whatever you like so here i'm pressing over the roll with the rolling mat to make it stay in place and this time we cut the sushi roll first See, I'm constantly wiping the knife, wetting it again. The sharper your knife, the better when cutting sushi rolls. Pressing on the roll with the rolling mat, then move the plastic wrap. Adding some sesame seeds. Try to spread it evenly. And here I'm adding some masago. And here I'm adding some hot mayo. Another roll. This is like a sushi party. Adding some black sesame seeds. Flipping it over. Adding some smoked salmon. Cucumbers. And here I'm adding on top some cream cheese and spreading it out. And some crab mascarpone mix. And I'm rolling my sushi roll. Rolling and pressing. And putting some plastic wrap. And wetting the knife to easily cut the roll and pressing it with the rolling mat and removing the plastic wrap here I am putting some Japanese mayonnaise on top. It gives a nice taste and it looks nice on top of the sushi. And here. Soy sauce and here I'm adding some hot mayo on top. This is the mix that we did with uh, with the sriracha sauce and uh, Japanese mayonnaise. And here I'm adding.
adding some masago on top. It makes it look really nice. And here is the finished plate. This roll. So here's how the sushi turned out, looks really nice and uh, vibrant colors. So if you liked this video and if you made your own sushi, let me know how it turned out for you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests on sushi, let me know. And the next time I'll be doing the dragon roll using shrimp in sushi. If you have any other recommendations, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!